Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to set up your Wisecam version 3. So one thing I want to note is that you can only use the sound and motion detection on live. So basically that means that you're going to be burning a lot of data. So I just want to give you a heads up on that. So first thing you want to do is go ahead and go into the App Store and go ahead and download the Wise app. So let's go ahead and search for it. And then of course, go into it and go ahead and download. Once we've done that, then wait for it to download and uh, we can get into the app after that. So go ahead and get into the app and we're gonna sign up, we're gonna set up our account basically. So click okay to locate uh, networks, which you're gonna need later and notifications. Yes, you want that too. So click create an account, put in your email. And if you want, you know, promos, you can. Then go ahead and put in your password or create a password basically. And then check your email. So it's gonna give you a code to put in. Go ahead and put that code in and then put in your, you know, your phone number if you want notification, uh, basically promos too. So you can skip that or you can put it in. If you wanna do two-step authentication, you can do that too, but I'm gonna skip that for now. And now we've set up our account. So go ahead and hit finish. Now we wanna add the Wise Cam V3 to the account. So click new, new device and then hit cameras and then hit version three down there. And then what we wanna do is go ahead and plug in the camera to a wall somewhere. So take your power outlet here, your power cord and hook up the micro USB to the actual camera. There we go, plug that in. And then let's go plug this into a wall somewhere, wherever you want to point it. So plug that into the wall and you're going to see a solid red light. And that basically just means that it's powering up, which is fine. Wait about 20 seconds and it should be blinking red, which means it's ready to connect. So there we go. It's ready to connect so we can go to the next step. So go ahead and hit next. And then basically what you want to do is uh, hit the setup button under the camera. So Go ahead and pick up your camera and uh, pull the mount back. And on the right side, there's a button that says setup. So a little bit hard to see here, but there it is. So push it and it'll come up. It'll say basically ready to connect or I can't remember what it says. What does it say? Ready to connect. So hit that when you hear it, click OK, click OK again. And then do for your uh, location. Basically what will happen is it'll look for a network. So it's not the one you're looking for. Hit the drop down. And you can find your own network, put in your password. It's going to come up with this QR code. So now what you want to do is point this QR code towards the uh, camera. It'll scan it and it'll say something. I can't remember. And it'll have the red and blue, which basically means connecting is in progress. So it'll say QR code scanned. Hit that. When you hear it, click OK. It'll connect. And then basically now you can just name your camera. So you can use one of the suggestions or type in whatever you want. Click continue from here, which is just cam plus. If you want to do that, it's just information for now. And then if you want to share with friends, you can. I'm going to not do that. So maybe later. Now you're into well, first. It's going to ask you for if you want to update it with firmware, which is probably going to need. So click update up and then hit update again. It'll do its thing. And then after that, then you can use the camera. So when you're done, hit, when it's done, hit done. And now you can use the camera. So it's on live view right now. It's burning data, as I mentioned. One way to turn it off, the camera off, is to hit off there. Or if you go into the more uh, button, it's you can turn it off there as well. So once we've done that, then that's basically it. Here's your settings at the gearbox in the top right. And you can set that however you want. And then you're done. You can use the uh, camera. So if that the video was helpful, don't forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.